Learn how to toast that new meta defense with these six passing concepts. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's guys, you know my channel. Make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, um, I was uh, watching a few videos, uh, stumbled on a channel, Eric uh, Rayweather. Phenomenal content, great YouTuber. This guy brings a lot, of, a lot of value to the community. Um, he's been pumping out some great stuff for the last few years. Uh, but I do want to let you know that he has put out a, a recent video about a new meta defense which stops the run and very effective against the pass and I guarantee you guys you're gonna give up a ton of a ton a ton of touchdowns as soon as people start seeing this video um, the, the actual defense itself is going to be um, is going to be the palms so cover four palms is the defense that Eric uh, Eric uh, Ray Weather is actually pumping up, saying you got to use this defense. It shuts down um, uh, the, the split close formation. It shuts down the trips formations and all the crossers. Problem with it is that it has a ton of holes on the on the defense too. It's got matching principles that don't match correctly, and it gives up a lot of one play touchdowns. So I'm going to bring you six concepts right now where you can eat someone up. So if you catch someone and cover four palms, you're going to get at least three or four easy scores against this uh, against your opponent, and they're going to jump out of it because you're going to realize you're going to abuse them with this unit play. So let's talk about cover four palms. I'm going to show you six different ways to go and stop it. All right, so uh, first and foremost, I just want to talk about uh, some basic passing principles that you can attack against your opponent. Uh, one of the fastest and easiest things to do is actually do a deep comeback route. Deep comeback routes are very, very effective against cover four palms, and what it will do is essentially it will the defenders will not will not play the deep comeback routes so you can actually pick up an easy completion with these routes and it doesn't matter on which side of the field now what's great about the deep comeback routes in this uh, this play is that uh, it you're you're going to be attacking the sidelines and as a result uh, it's going to uh, not going to allow your opponent to stop those so first thing you could do is deep comeback routes and what's cool about it is it's a hot rod audible and it's something you could jump into very easy Another route that works very effectively is the slot fade special route. I've showed this to you before. And it works just like um, a, a deep comeback route. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're just going to go and rifle that ball and the defender doesn't play it and nobody plays that route either. They, they treat they treat that route uh, just like um, a it's it's just like a, any other route um, uh, to, the, to the CPU. They, they treat, treat it like a fly route. So you can see this guy's going to be right in an island over here to actually get yourself an opportunity for an easy completion. So uh, I would go and jump into that. Even though Robinson didn't hold down on that ball, uh, that's just an, another easy completion that you can go and pop against your opponent. Once you get the back, just go ahead and throw the ball, and I'm picking up a good 20 yards right there with, it, with, that, with that fade stop. Uh, another route concept that you can use against your opponent would be uh, any kind of a deep out or, or a quick out. So look at Mesh over here. This is a play that you can jump into. Anything that's got a built-in quick out. And all we're going to do is we're going to look to Robinson. And once he takes his break, we're just going to go and pick up an easy 10 yards. So another play that you can just jump into real quick and force your opponent to go ahead and play the sidelines. And if he's adjusting out of uh, out of this play, uh, out of this out of this defense, you're, you're going to be winning in this type of situation. So let's just go ahead and pop him for a quick out. You get a nice little completion right there. You get a first down. Now, I, unfortunately for me, I've got another concept that actually works really good against uh, against this Palms defense, and that is the play-action dagger. Now, this is a standard concept. You should find it in every single playbook, and basically what the concept is is that you have a dragging tight end underneath, you've got a slot receiver doing a fly, and then you get a deep dig route uh, by the by the wide receiver that this, the, the split out. So uh, your first read is going to be the dragging uh, tight end. If no one follows him, you're going to go and pop it, but on the backhand side, you've got this uh, this deep dig route, which is going to get depth, and that's what's great about this particular play, especially if you're going to be dealing in user territory with your opponent, uh, they're going to have a hard time stopping this play. So we'll look for this 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 right this guy right here and pop it down, uh, but if a defender plays down towards uh, towards the box. 
you've got that uh, in route on the back end side which should get crazy separation give you an opportunity to do that so you can get yourself in user territory but this is just another concept that you can do especially if you keep beating them up on the sidelines now another double move concept you can use against your opponent is going to be uh, the sluggo seam uh, or sluggo route And uh, basically, with this pick of the route, uh, you're going to have uh, Robinson. He's, he's just going to—he's going to get triple team, but he's always going to get past these defenders because of the way this this route works. So, watch what happens. These guys basically take a bite on that little route right there, and you're going to get an easy—you uh, know—huge play opportunity right there. So, obviously, if Robinson was a little bit better, uh, he might be able to break that. But watch. I'm getting myself an opportunity to go ahead and rack myself uh, a one play touchdown or more right there. So there's another way to go and pop your opponent uh, down on the pop. Uh, three three defenders are actually covering Robinson, but the way this slugger route is actually designed, it's got a pump fake in it um, out of the Arizona playbook, and it's going to give me an opportunity to get that one play touchdown. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pop this one more time. Now another double move that you can go ahead and throw into your scheme is sluggo seam. Now sluggo seam. Uh, historically, has been pretty effective um, against uh, against man coverages. A lot of people that like to do a lot of man press, uh, but this is actually very good against uh, basically the uh, the type of plays that you're going to see with the cover four palms. So. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and wait until he gets past the defenders and we're just going to go ahead and lob that ball up and then hold the, hold the trigger button and actually go ahead and get that opportunity for a huge play opportunity. So you can see we're moving the ball really, really effectively against our opponent. And if he gets a clean, clean release, you're going to get these huge play opportunities. So throw Sluggle in, and if you have Sluggle with a pump fake, that's even going to go ahead and bite those defenders down and give you another opportunity for another play. So let's take a look at a, another play that we can hit him with. Now another concept that we can use against our opponent is Ohio. Now there's a particular Ohio that works better than the other ones. And that one is going to be on Ohio where you actually have just a quick little out with a fly route. Now what happens with this, this particular um, uh, play against, uh, against the Palms defenses is that there's a matching principle that messes up the match. This is a great play to have in your back pocket because once again you can, you can, you can jump into it. Usually it's a standard audible that you can jump into and you can catch your opponent for a huge sideline pass down the field so let me go ahead and show this to you real quick um, watch Gabriel and watch what happens to the man over Robinson and watch how I'm gonna get a lane right down the sideline so you see right here the reason I got this this completion I got this completion because this guy should never make, should never be biting to this out. He shouldn't be doing this. So, but watch what happens. This just it didn't take me longer than a, a couple play, like a couple minutes in the lab to figure out. Hey, Palms is broken. I've seen these kind of breakdowns in, in live gameplay. So, watch what happens. He lets this guy bounce. This guy switches off, goes ahead, takes a spot route. And then he comes down and he plays the out route. And basically this guy's got the over top coverage, but the problem is that he's out of position. So if you've got a fast receiver, this, he's only 90 speed. If you got like a Tree Kill or, or a Ross or a good one, these guys are gonna fly right by for an easy touchdown opportunity. So right there, I've got a huge switch in, in field position, uh, roughly about 50 yards or so in field position or more uh, on that particular play. So basically the key to this play, once again, is just the way this Ohio's concept is set up. You've got a little quick out route that's maybe about five yards or so, and then you've got Robinson doing a little fly route. And all you're gonna do is just lob the ball up as soon as that de defender peels off and there's another one play touchdown you're going to get against him if he jumps into this defense. So here's another route that completely destroys this defense and it's basically a corner post route or a clown route. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this in the week, uh, the cross week flood, but this is a route that you can find somewhere in your playbook and it's very effective against uh, basically this this uh, Palms defense. So um, this particular clown route actually gets really, really crazy separation uh, against the CPU. Now one of the things I do is I go ahead and slide over the slot receiver. I think it helps with the coverage a little bit, but watch watch the, watch the clown route. Look, look at the coverage. There's nobody there. Nobody there, and all I have to do is just turbo catch this, and I'm going off to the off to the races. 
So we're going to go and block our running back to give ourselves a little bit more time, but watch the clown route and look at the separation he gets, and he's going to be able to get that one play touchdown. So um, I recommend going, jumping into um, your, you know, go into the lab, run against uh, Palm's defense. Palm's defense has got a ton, a ton of holes in its defense as far as the way the coverages are set up. You can use deep comebacks, you can use deep outs, um, you can actually use dagger concept, you can use sluggo. Um, those are going to be concepts that are going to be very effective and obviously the clown routes are going to be very effective and then Ohio is obviously going to give you, get you uh, get you easy touchdowns. So you can you can establish a Ohio on one side, you can have a clown run on the other side um, and these guys, he's, there's no way he can match up to this. He's going to have to get out of, out of Palm's defense and if you, if you have a situation where uh, you like to run a lot of um, uh, split formations or tray formations, you can go ahead and throw these concepts in, and it's just going to throw him off his game. So, uh, guys, if you like, if, if you do like these tips, make sure you smash the like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive defensive tips to take your gameplay to the next level. Until next time.